really live in two minutes. There we go. And we're live. Well, I feel like I'd like their stuff more if they had a real drummer. <laughs> Wait, Wait, what? Hold on. What, what, what are you saying? <laughs> yeah. Huh? Well, see, I've heard Portnoy and a couple other guys have been speaking up. It's like, Lars is really important. Yeah, he is important, but he still sucks right now. Right now, he sucks. <laughs> It doesn't he did some seem really like cool shit 30 years ago. Right now, he sucks. <laughs> he helped write a lot those of those Arrowhead songs. Arrowhead drumsticks. He helped write a lot of those songs. Too heavy. And organizing. Know, he's, a great, he's a good song. He's a great songwriter. And he's fun. His drums he's are fun. boring AF, dude. Yeah. Mm. Throw in a double kick every now and then. We're bitching well, about Metallica, more if you guys are wondering. Every now and then. <laughs> For those listening. I agree that he is very boring as a drummer, but I also don't want to like take too much away from him because no, like, you he, know, he, one of the greatest bands of all time, he's the backbone. Yeah, he does some unique stuff, but I don't know. You listen to the song for a minute and a half and you're like, so what's going to happen? Anything else going to happen? It's boring. Whoa. Oh, we're live? Yeah, we're live. <laughs> yeah, we're live. <laughs> I got to tell you though, like as much as I love Metallica, I think like, one of the big problems is just that they repeat these long ass parts so many times that like it almost makes Lars sound even more boring, you know, because like they'll do a, like a verse will last a minute and a half and they'll do it three times. You know, it That's used, four and a half minutes of a yeah, song. They used to be able to make that interesting. So you you listen to the whole thing. Like I'll still go listen to Justice and Master Puppets and listen to the whole, whole thing. And now it's like... Well, how to do it. Welcome to the Gaijin Guys podcast. We're talking about Japanese music news and other music related things. We're all here today. Hello. Everyone's intact Good. this Sunday. We're we're all here. Yay. But, how, how did Good it go last back, Alan? <laughs> how'd it go last Sunday? Not good. I don't even remember. <laughs> Was I there? Well mm, I got barely. some I got some good news. I figured out my internet problem. Well, so, that's good. Yeah, and it was uh pretty dumb. So I figured out what it was. So everybody's saying there's package loss, blah, blah, blah. I had a bunch of texts. Everybody knows the story, how I've had tons of texts come out here. They can't figure out the fucking internet issue. They switched out millions of modems or whatever. So what I thought about doing was like, how about this? I'm going to lower my service down to the lowest possible speed. I'm just going to downgrade uh, before I left to go see Otoboki Beaver in Denver. And so I did that. And then my plan was when I got back, I'm going to upgrade back up because I have a feeling because I remember when I was working at Spectrum, which is the internet company here in the U.S., um, there's a lot of coding that goes on and behind the scenes. And if one of the coding is like off by a little bit, it fucks up everything. So I have a feeling nobody's catching it. And they and it's like for me to explain it over the phone is like ridiculous. And most of the time they get pissed off. They're like, what, what do you know? I'm like, you used to work there, dude. Like, <laughs> Just go to the coding part <laughs> and you'll see it. But they can never figure it out. So I was like, anyways. I went and upgraded my service on Monday. They sent me a whole new modem and everything. And I think what happened is it helped like correct the code. And then I put it in and oh. no, no issues. All of like a sudden. Like it kind of reset your account and yeah. everything? Yeah, that's all it took. So it ended up me doing wow. it in the long run after everybody Good went job. up on fucking poles and disconnected <laughs> wires and changed out cables. Fucked up my and you're also And you're also saving money with this, right? Because you downgraded, you said. Well, I re-upgraded to fix the coding issue, so I'm back up to um, that high thing. But I'm getting, like, the next two months free, so. And my phone sweet. bill is paid off for the next year, so I can't complain. So Nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so oh, they. Good. So, yeah. Oh, yeah, I fought for it. I'm like, uh, what are you guys going to do? <laughs> <laughs> nice. Yeah, you're the one that had to fix the problem. <laughs> they're, like, they're like, we'll give you the phone bill off for a year. And I was like, cool. So I switched over from T-Mobile to, to them. And I'm like, and. It's off of the Verizon network, so it's like fucking amazing. Oh, wow. And I was like, "All right, cool, free phone for a year. Don't have to pay the internet bill for two months. Down." So nice. Yeah, you won, bro. That that's, that was a victory, right? That's there. Like <laughs> over a thousand dollars worth of <laughs> seriously. <laughs> it was a it was a long battle. <laughs> it was since August. How long has this been going on? We're cutting in and out and all that shit. It's uh, really worth bitching though. Time. Yeah, <laughs> like you just gave me like you just motivated me to bitch at like everything <laughs> that doesn't work around here. He just He's just yell yelling at his laptop. Like, like no. get to somebody that can. No, 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 no. <laughs> I'm gonna walk out of my room and the first person I see, you know what doesn't fucking work? <laughs> I hope that they give me some money. 
well, me some money. <laughs> what are you talking about? Well, there's a, <laughs> you got to talk to him a little bit nicely, okay? Cows I wasn't a dick. <laughs> I, wasn't, I wasn't a dick. I just Excuse like, me, sir. You look very nice today. Now fucking fix my shit. <laughs> Literally, I think they could hear the despair in my voice and just like, my internet's not working. I'm like, oh, I'm so sorry about this, sir. I'm like, yep. <laughs> That's literally how I was talking. <laughs> like the entire time is monotone. Yeah. I'm like, whoever fixes it's watching, they're going to pull it. <laughs> out it goes. I was specter yeah, that during the stream. <laughs> uh, Brian, Brian says, guys and Karens. <laughs> yeah. So, with these new uh, YouTube rules, are we going to have to edit out all these F bombs we just dropped? No, no, they stopped it. Did you hear about well, that? New thing? It's so many. If it said too much, they can still they can still pull it. I think. Mm, I fought it every time so far on our podcast, and they released it every time. So yeah, I think they probably <laughs> just don't want to watch it to check and see. So they're just like, whatever, proof. <laughs> we're not we're not gonna watch a two hour podcast yeah, about seriously. Japanese music news to find out if they're swearing. <laughs> So obviously what we have learned is be as annoying as possible so that people don't want to have to check your shit. <laughs> yes. Pinky <laughs> wheel. Wait, I guess it's the opposite of that. <laughs> Anyways, guys, how, how was your weeks? We'll start with you, Wave. How was your week, man? <clears throat> oh, pretty good, actually, I guess. Um, we sh Well, we shot a wedding last night that started at 3.30 and went till... The actual wedding went to 4 a.m., which what just blew hell? my mind. Like, who does that? But we were only there till midnight, so um, I can't complain compared to, like, the rest of the staff that had to stay the whole time. Hell yeah. But, wow. <laughs> and, and then the with the daylight savings time, it was a rough morning getting up. <laughs> mm. <laughs> my and body go, wouldn't what? let me sleep past, like, 7 when you go shoot these weddings, do you get to, like, eat the food and shit that they have there? It's funny you ask. Usually, yes. Usually we're treated like another guest, and, like, they add us into their catering thing and everything. But y yesterday, um, it was a pretty ritzy wedding, so we were literally, you know, the help. We, we, Coming the back door. we sat and ate our deli sandwiches in, like, a closet. While they were eating Wagyu filet mignons for dinner. Damn. Which I understand. I wouldn't waste money like on myself either. Because those are expensive dinners to cater. But <laughs> it was different than what we usually have. Um, Hell yeah. But that's the way it is. Anyway, musically though, I had a fun week. Like there was new music, which we're going to get to later. That was really fun and exciting. And uh, I, the biggest thing for me was I finally wrote an original song <clears throat> with lyrics first, which has hasn't happened to me for like I don't know since 2020. So that made me pretty happy this week. That's awesome, man. Yeah, cool. nice. Hell yeah, good deal. How anyway, you, that's champ? about it for me. How are you, champ? <clears throat> champ. So, uh, COVID. COVID. <laughs> sorry, that's not funny. Not funny. I'm just, I'm sorry, man. Just, it, it, it's the truth. <laughs> it was a covid week this week, so I got nothing done. You didn't want to do anything while you were sick? No, I was kidding. <laughs> I, wa I wanted to do all kinds of stuff, but the, the, the world wouldn't let me. The world wouldn't let me. I'll tell you what, though. Like, you know, uh, it's been a long time since I, I isolated back in, like, you know, 2019 2020 where it was like everybody was just being scared to go anywhere and do anything you know and like i'm wearing gloves everywhere and all that shit and i spraying down your groceries oh god it was so obnoxious right and i just got I, like i remembered for the first time in like two years how awful it was because i was just like by Thursday, I was just like, I want to drive to Dunkin' Donuts and get some drive through man. Like, yeah, the, it's all I want to do. But I'm also like, I don't I don't want to give this to anybody. So I'm just like laying there with no nicotine and 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 no caffeine. And I'm just like, I feel like I was getting like withdrawals from those things. Yeah. <laughs> while having COVID, you know, I couldn't tell the difference of what, what was happening. So, was so at that point, mess. you might as well just quit all the addictions, you know? It didn't work that way. Good idea. <laughs> <laughs> so 
double fisted. <laughs> well, maybe, you know, maybe it happened for a reason. You're just trying to keep you healthy for a week, you know? <laughs> do you not have DoorDash in Jersey? Uh, we do, but we are also very poor. Sometimes. Oh, yeah. It is a giant. <laughs> so, like, you know, you order DoorDash four times, and that's $100. You know what I mean? Well, yeah. You can't do that all week. It's so funny how those places are still in business, like the DoorDashes and all that stuff. They charge all that ridiculous fees. <clears throat> yeah. I mean, laziness outweighs uh, your financial uh, economy. So. Yeah. And the poor <laughs> restaurants make way less money than they would otherwise off of yeah. the same food and work. Yeah. That's it's... actually surprising considering it's always more expensive to order the food. Not and I'm not even talking about with the fees on top of it. Like the actual just meals. I saw some items. I saw up. someone I think DoorDash adds like a percentage to every item to get their cut. Uh, I was at Guitar about. Center and I I saw this guy like DoorDash McDonald's. I'm like, if you're gonna DoorDash something, can we like go Olive Garden or like go to some restaurant or something no because <laughs> like McDonald's. nice food is always cold and tastes like crap by the time you get it mcdonald's already is like low low uh what's the word quality <laughs> low quality yeah low expectations so it's just like if i'm gonna sabotage myself i might as well go all the way yeah i'm sure but yeah mm. <laughs> That's, a, that's actually a really good way to it's like how much of a drop off from its normal quality is it going to be and that's what you should order right or whatever yeah. has the smallest drop off how much worse can you get than mcdonald's well you could get a delivery mcdonald's it's a tiny bit worse right but you get some you get some delivery like you know steakhouse food that steak ain't gonna be nearly as good as if you got there yeah exactly. drop of quality is significantly more when you order something good yeah, yeah exactly i think it only works for like pizza places you know when pizza places use door doordash or whatnot it's probably the only place that can really get away with it huh well i'd rather order directly from the pizza place because they've pizza has mastered the art of keeping food hot and fresh because <laughs> they've been delivering for 40 years yeah. you know yeah, or yeah, however got that shit down some of those like, boxes some of the mom yeah. and pop though have decided to go fully with doordash though like when i was in washington that's how it was they didn't even have their own delivery drivers they just used doordash like why because it's because it's cheaper than having actual employees oh true yeah because yeah. employees are their own bosses at that point and that means that's less people for them to have on payroll and it's a lot cheaper actually yeah but then yeah. like you only get like probably 20 percent of dashes actually using the insulated <laughs> bag to yeah. keep stuff warm because mm. it's not regulated or anything yeah mm. that's a good anyways point. ryan how's your week <laughs> it was all right i uh a little bit sick myself the boy my boy got did go pick him up from school. I found out after I got a fork. My wife went and picked him up. He was sick. And I got home, was taking care of him for that night. And then the next day I felt like shit. I'm like, well, I'm probably sick. So I called in. But I didn't get any better. And I had like, I think I'm allergic to my dogs now. So I got these fucking allergies where my eyes just feel like they're just drying out and turning what? into like chalk in my head. And getting Like out of nowhere? Well, I, my it happened to my brother too. Neither one of us had allergies when we were little, but as uh, he he moved away and he came back, and then all of a sudden he had allergies. And now I'm like, hey man, you got allergies with your eyes? Just you can't get enough moisture in your eyes. He's like, yeah, it's probably it, dude. You gotta take some medicine and wash your hands after you touch your dogs. I'm like, yeah, fucking great. <laughs> Two yeah. dogs, and I'm like, don't touch me. Oh, damn, <laughs> but I took got some uh, allergy stuff. I think it's it's better now. It's been like miserable all week. Mm, but other than that though i got some uh some original stuff put out i wrote like a little baseline it's mid prop to it which got a whopping 183 views after two days that was it's ryan's way of saying <laughs> fucking go check it out come on people go stroke his ego <laughs> on his channel page please, please. <laughs> <laughs> but not a dog bone because uh, it'll make him sneeze right not a dog uh, <laughs> we just got to start premiering all our original music on gadget guys <laughs> Here it I is, guys. If you're wondering, the bandmate. Oh, bandmate, uh, inspired. Yeah. <laughs> just I mean, clickbait not, every it's title. True. I, I mean, did, it's, uh, it says it does have the word play in it. Couple, huh? It does have the word play in it. I mean, oh, you yeah. can assume it's bandmate right there. <laughs> <laughs> I did uh, make public my second and third installments of the Unseen World instrumental score videos. I didn't yeah, realize. Sweet. I forgot I had those only on Patreon. I 
but they're not to the public. So oh, so they're from a while ago. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. Somebody was like, "Hey, you're gonna make those public?" I'm like, ah, "I guess I could now." From but, like last summer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Very cool. Guys, yeah, can you believe how much? I'm sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. Go ahead. But I, so yeah, that's yeah. Sorry, that's about it. What are you gonna say, wait? It's like somebody brought up, it's like, are you going to put your stuff from your live streams out on YouTube? I'm like, I guess. There's like, I got like three weeks backlog of live streams. I got to fucking <laughs> edit, put out. Dude. Probably just be like, you know what? Screw the thumbnail. Screw the description. Here you go. Watch it. Yeah. I've <laughs> been good. I have... sound a little. I, I haven't been the most uh, motivated the last couple of weeks, guys. From my I, I, I hear that, out. brother. I it's hear that. Felt like shit. Same. Work is it's work yeah you know what i think it's 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 kind of hard to to um grasp onto if you don't actually do this but it's like when you have other stuff that you have to do like everything that outside always like has an effect on on doing this also because getting on camera is like this thing where it's like you're supposed to be in a good mood and open-minded and willing to like hear new things and try new things and like if you just had a shit day at work and you come home and you're just like pissed off at your boss or your you know your kids being an ass or something like that (laughs) you know the last thing you want to do is be like yes let's put on that game face let's Big smile. Listen to yeah. new stuff, you know. Some people yeah, are really good some at new that. Stuff out this week that I was like, I need to listen to that, and I so I didn't listen to it, so I can make a video, and I haven't got to any of it. I'm like, I'm already behind everything now. Mm. Yeah. Mm. My my rule of thumb now is I just I just go check it out, and then I can do an analysis later. You know, it was like yeah. worst case scenario. I did I did wait on this baby metal one though. I I was like, okay, I'll wait to check that out because. Baymail just released monochrome, but it's piano version um, on the first it's, take. It's first take, take, right? <clears throat> yeah, first, first yeah. take. So, uh, Bay Metal uh, makes his first appearance too on the YouTube channel. Yeah, of the first I'm take. Surprised to see him on there. Yeah, me too. Have any of you seen this already? I have not. No, I, have, I haven't I have. either. But I'm. I love first take. First take is like one of the coolest uh, concepts out there. So I can't wait to listen to it. I'm very excited yeah. to hear it though and see like what it's about. But I was like want to make sure I was in the right mind before I watched that but so they're so they're doing the performance of monochrome as the channel implies it's about doing the song in one take for those that don't know but the cool thing is they have Sue Metal and Mo Metal who take the floor in this uh, studio they're normally surrounded by white but in this case the backdrop is a dark charcoal it seemingly plays it into the cop concept of Ragnarok uh, the mythology mythological Norse apocalypse which the lyrics are about I don't know if that's for sure, but this is what J-Rock News says. Um, the same concept is also tightly uh, tied to its new album concept what, that we find in upcoming release, the other one. I do know a lot of it's like about that mythology, possibly, but I thought I it think, was speculation. I think Sue said something like it was inspired by Ragnarok or something, I thought. Yeah. That could be wrong. It's like the end of the world, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So the cool, th- um, so yeah, like it says on here, it was done with uh, piano. So instrumentally, it features only piano and string instruments, and is a slower pace, sad a slower pace, um, compared to the original version, which starts off pretty heavy. Um, <laughs> Wave did hear this already. He has a reaction up. You, should, you guys should check that out. His reaction. But Wave, what did you think about the slower version in comparison to the actual heavy version of Monochrome by Baby Metal? It was one of those moments where. One video just knocks me up to the next level of respect yeah. for a band <clears throat> because I've, I've never really experienced um, Sue's voice on such an intimate level. It's usually, you know, surrounded by heavy metal music and huge flashy productions and stuff or like a studio version where I can't see your singing. Oh, so like yeah. to to see that, like how diverse and dynamic her voice is that you don't really get in a full band version because everything's, you know, compressed and kind of at the same level and everything. Like she showed so much emotion and uh, it was just really grabbing or grip. What is it? Gripping. Captiv- yes. Gripping. Thank you. Captivating. <clears throat> yeah. Um, both of those. Both of those. <laughs> I think I only caused one. Graptivating. (laughs) Graptivating. I think you guys know how much I pause. It's like I get yelled at about it constantly in my comments, and yet I keep doing it. But, like, 
this song i think i only paused one time which is wow. unheard of for yeah. me because i was just like did you uh, tear up blown away huh? i'm looking, I'm looking forward to seeing it and partly for what you explained where even you know the videos they've released are official videos or live video but it's still the studio cuts i'm like why aren't they having anything out live you know they're being recorded you know mm-hmm. so I'm, I'm really looking forward to watching them and and it, and it kind of stripped down like that to where you know it's not being affected, you know. Not I'm not yeah. saying it is. I'm just where, like you said, where it's not the entire band, the whole band. Yeah, it's not. Yeah. It. It's gonna be a unique way to hear it. Nothing's burying her voice or <clears throat> right, inter- grabbing your attention and pulling it somewhere else. Yeah, yeah. I also showed for- it to Rosie too. Oh. And sorry, champ. No, no, keep going. I showed it to Rosie because that's we did it on our live stream, and she really loved it too. Like. It was stuck in her head, and she was singing the chorus later, the ooh, 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 like the really catchy part, yeah, yeah. and which was really cool to see because she's never had any interest in baby metal as they are metal, you mm-hmm. know. Would you say but, like as well, not anymore? The, so did it feel live? <laughs> <laughs> What'd you say? Did it feel live? Like when you watched it? It like, well, it felt intimate, like you yeah. were watching someone just like sing at their home studio you know gotcha something like that i mean why uh, why do you ask alan just curious i'm just curious Mm. why why would Mm. not yeah yeah that's what i'm wondering because like i I think they (laughs) they do it it, like that's that's the thing right it's like on first take it it it, they take literally the first take from beginning to end Mm. if they didn't do that i'd be disappointed because i'd be like what what is this show this isn't what they told me (laughs) yeah was there any processing that you heard during the first take? Because I know there's a couple first take videos where they do, where they where they did processing afterwards, or did yeah. it sound like all well, live? I, I'm pretty <clears throat> sure first take does pitch correction on every video because yeah, everyone's yeah, always I, perfect. I think, yeah, they they definitely do. You could hear it sometimes. I, I'm not sure if it's post production or if they have like sometimes I've heard like a auto tune that it sounds like maybe it's like already on the mic. You know, like well, that's when they pretty fucking disappointing. Yeah, I caught it on a couple songs. Uh, somebody was on a Twitch. We were on Twitch, and they're like, "No, they don't do any of that." And then they checked it out, and they're like, "Oh yeah, it does say that they do well, some kind of processing afterwards." I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> Bummer, <laughs> which is dude. fine. Which is fine. But that's why I, was, I guess that's why I was asking the question: Did it feel live, live or intimate? And that's awesome. I can't wait to hear it. So that um, kills the whole point of the show for me. Does it? Because I mean, <laughs> like when it you does, when dude, you watch, if you're like, fixing uh, shit. Yeah, oh, but man, like, this is perfect. No, no I don't know but, if it was or not. <laughs> well, I mean, I, I get your point, but like, if we were to watch, like, let's say, like an official live band made video, you know, like they put post processing on that too, and it doesn't really ruin the. I'm not like, oh, that show wasn't as good as a, it would have been if they didn't put the post processing on it. You know what I mean? Yeah, but their gimmick isn't. This is one take. That's the only shot they have. Yeah, it's, yeah, yeah. It's, you know, that's like advertising. Like this, if they mess up, they mess up, and it's not. <laughs> mess up we'll fix it later well, i think when they do mess up like they still use all the recorded audio from the first yeah. take they'll just do like minor pitch correction in post so it is all like perfect pitch like you don't kinda, get like any yeah weird <laughs> notes well to answer your question though ryan on it like if they keep the mistakes in there like kind of boon they messed up the lyrics and they kept it in there yeah. I wouldn't have, I wouldn't have been able to tell cuz <laughs> I was like um I think if it's if somebody messes up that bad like it's impossible to fix it in post production without people without it being super obvious you know so it's like yeah. the way that I look at it is the 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 changes that they make must be relatively nominal for us <clears throat> to be able to believe that there weren't any changes made I think it would be like way too obvious. Like if somebody like really fucked up, like hit like a wrong note completely and they like tried to pitch correct it or whatever, like you would hear it in the, in the production like that. Yeah. So, and I've I never watch really, I watch, them, I, I watch them because I, w- I assumed it was like a real take. Like, like when I watch Lisa and it's absolutely perfect and I'm like, that's, that's amazing. And now I'm like, well, maybe it wasn't so amazing. <laughs> well, with her, I will say this though: on Lisa, you don't hear any of the correction. I, I don't maybe. hear it from what I can Dude, tell. I, like, I, there's Ryan, t- you're 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 a musician, bro. I, like, there's, I feel like you would know, you would notice if it was like that bad, like there, if it was that offensive of a change that they made. Not, if it's not that much of a change, and why fuck with it? Like, I I don't know. I don't I mean, think they did it on a Lisa. Maybe they have, but I heard it on another singer. <laughs> so I can't. That's that's the point. 
Yeah. yeah they also might <laughs> now, not. Now though. it's all thrown into question. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> What's the point of doing that shit? I still <laughs> like it anyways. <laughs> One take ish. <laughs> I still like Lisa's first take, so I'll say it's still good. I, they're still the best versions of her songs, in my opinion. Like, I, pretty much every time I watch first take, I think it's the best version of whatever song that I'm listening to. But I feel like, I don't know, I guess I'm a little a little easier to, to satisfy when it comes to that stuff, just because I feel like so much stuff is has, like, auto-tune and pitch correction on it, like, mm. that, uh, you know, if it goes from, like, 100% exactly clean to like 96 percent. i can accept that if they were like if it was like 60 percent to 100 percent, then i'd be like okay that's way too much like you changed way too much but like you know a couple things here and there i can i, I can deal well yeah. yeah and looking at it from the artist's perspective because like we look at it as a listener and we're like um you know we want the raw and authentic performance because we we know that we don't like oh, harshly judge the artist but as an artist putting something out they get really self-conscious and worried like about imperfections you know so like mm. you know like how bandmate likes to do the post-processing but when they don't we love that we love that authentic because you can hear flubs and you know it's real mm -hmm. but in their minds they're probably really self-conscious and un uncomfortable to put it out when they because you know when you're listening to your own parts you all you hear is your own mistakes oh, yeah. every time you know yeah so like i yeah. totally understand oh. why they would want to fix little from, things like that from what you uh, heard wave though did you I feel i mean i would now if they're going to fix it in post well, fuck <laughs> it <laughs> cuz i know i'd mess up <laughs> If they're gonna fix it. I'll look perfect. Hell yeah! <laughs> I mean, that's the whole point, man. The first take. <laughs> if it's not a hey, Ryan, can you turn up your mic just a little bit? Uh, no, actually. Or bring it, yeah, or just shout louder into the mic. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we it's all got a first turn take. Now. <laughs> all right, we're gonna, we're gonna do this whole podcast. I need to be together. fair. We need to do this the whole podcast. The name still again. makes sense. <laughs> Yeah, they don't like they don't like punch in extra audio later. You know, yeah. they always work with the first take. Like people mentioned, you can hear the vocal breakup. Like if they you run can. out of air during a note, or if they like fall out of the note they're on. Like they'll keep that stuff. It's just like the minor pitch correction, which I understand. I understand when you want. So the overall, though, the third or fourth take at that point, who gives a shit? So uh, overall, I, I just want to respond to one of these comments that says uh, surfing a, a song wave says I'm with Ryan that's why I love going to live performances um, I hate to tell you surfing a song wave but a lot of live performances people that use that mic already have production on the microphone that they're using yeah and it's hard have... to tell when they don't yeah they or they have green. pedals too they have pedals at their feet also with um, a chromatic auto tuner um, so yeah, but you still yeah, exactly. have you still have to be on pitch though they just keep that in mind. They still have to be a good singer because you can't just You got to be, be close. Yeah, you have to be close. You got to um, be close. But yeah, a lot of them will have a chromatic auto tuner um, as a pedal or they'll have it in the production. It'll be somewhere in the chain. But yeah. um, that's pretty standard. Like you said, it's literally they're closest to that note of all the notes. So they still have to be good. But it, it prevents things from like where all the tuned instruments that are perfectly on pitch. Um, if you add a voice that's like flat or something, even if it's close to the note, it's going to make the whole mix sound like crap. Yeah. If there's one note that's exactly. Off. And so they do that just to make sure, because you can be a great singer, but there's like, you know, 20,000 megahertz of frequency that we can hear. And yeah. the note spectrum is all like all of those frequencies. We just cut them up and divide them to make the notes. So it's not like they're bad singers. They just aren't perfectly on the pitch that I need, they that. need to harmonize with the instrument. I understand that, but you know why they call it the first take, what that implies. They had one shot to nail the song and they did it. Yeah, and I get what you're saying. If they fix any of it, then it's fucking pointless. Hmm. It's not that they're bad or they screw up the whole song, but they that's why it's it's the name of it is the first take. Like they come in, they get one shot and that's it. All their no more chances. Well, they don't have to have more chances because it's going to be fixed anyway. I see what you so mean. Kinda, yeah, yeah, I get what I you're mean, saying. 
it's, if they're like they sing it once and we'll fix things. <laughs> it's just not. That sounds like a better title. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I gotta totally say, don't worry about it. If it's not so good. Wait, we'll fix it post. wait. For you, when you when you watched it, like, did you feel like there was major fix, or you felt like it was like, oh no, all the way authentic? I didn't. Uh. I, I like. I didn't notice any artifacts or anything from pitch correction. I just noticed that everything was absolutely perfect. But yeah. that could just be the performance. Sometimes you notice. You can hear the little. In, you know, from the pitch adjustment. Yeah, that's what I was yeah. saying. Like, like I feel like if you if they did a shitty job, you could notice even with the production. If you've listened to a lot of, of, of music, like you know what fucking auto tune and pitch correction sounds like. There's like a wobble to it. Yeah. You know, so if, if there if you don't hear that at all, it, I to me that it's very likely they they really didn't change much. You know, what it does if is anything. it takes away. From the performers that come on there and they actually nail their shit. Mm-hmm. Ah. You know, the ones that come on there and they kill it, well, then it it, it takes away the, the. You're breaking up, Ryan. The the work they did, you know, and, it, and I don't know what to do. It it just takes away from the performers that do a great job. Then yeah. they won't stand out because they're going to be made, you know. Not I don't want anybody to look like shit, but if you can't do it, you can't do it. Yeah. No, I hear you because you're right. It does. It ruins the credibility of the show in general. Right. So, like, if somebody does come up and nail it 100%, now you're wondering if they did. Right. Yeah. yeah. So, I get. So, for those of you that didn't hear, because Ryan was cutting it out, he was pretty much saying, like, like, the performers that are really good that do it in first take, do it in that first take, it takes away from them if, like, the other ones are corrected. Right. I think summer. it all just depends on how much you're how much leniency you're willing to give to the current generation when it comes to like using the technology that they have Nine. on hand. Yeah. And like <laughs> honestly, Ryan, like that's how I felt for a long time. I think uh, you know, listening to K pop probably made me feel a lot more lenient because it's just part of the scene. You know, like yeah. it's on everything, even if they don't need it. You know, like you could hear it on their microphones and it's just like uh, it drove me crazy for a while, and I just kind of learned to accept it. Like, up uh, 2023, this is this is the way that the world works. You're part of the problem, yeah. champ. Part of the problem. I know. I know. <laughs> but or, or am I part of the movement? The solution? <laughs> champ, you're fired. I'm just kidding. <laughs> He's like, all right. <laughs> you, you, knew who, you knew what I was before you hired me, Alan. <laughs> We're gonna um, auto we're gonna auto correct the champ now and tune him up. <laughs> Just kidding, okay. uh, <laughs> oh, but I can't wait to hear it. I'm very excited. Sorry guys, um, that I didn't check it out sooner. I I meant to check it out sooner. It was a rough week, but I can't wait to check it out, man. I'm like super excited. Oh yeah, <laughs> oh, yeah. and uh, we, we weren't know. just talking about the baby the ba- baby metal video, by the way. <laughs> that, that was a general <laughs> talk. Yeah, we weren't saying that. Maybe they that's did why they that. went on it. They found out that no. Oh. <laughs> Say it, Ryan. I wouldn't put it past Koba. Finish that sentence, Ryan. <laughs> <laughs> what were you about to say? Oh, shit. <laughs> but, but you said the first take's always been up front about that, right? Like, like um, it's in the descriptions. Yeah, there just um, somebody had looked it looked it up on the particular song that I was checking out, and I. I don't want to say the name because I'm not sure who who it was that talked to me about oh, it. But, yeah, yeah. but anyways, yeah, it was just like a minor thing, and you could hear. I'm like, I remember stopping and going, "What the hell? That was auto. That was auto tuned right there." I just remember hearing it. And I said it uh, during Twitch, and Eric was like, "Oh shit, yeah, there is." I'm like, "Oh, I thought like they're supposed to do it raw, you know?" Um, like Ryan was saying that that's what I was assuming also. But uh, yeah, not to beat a dead horse here, but um. Yeah, everybody's gonna it's have their still own good. Limits. Like, but, like Champ said, some of best. I love Lisa's versions on the first take, hands down, of those songs. I like the original. Need to get different versions of songs. Yeah, yeah, you get some badass versions of the songs. So I'm excited to hear Baby Metal's Monochrome on there. I'm sure it's gonna be awesome, and it's really cool that they have Moa there with Sue, and I'm excited to hear it. You know. Yeah, maybe it's about shifting your perspective a little bit when you listen to it, and instead of thinking Shift about it like. Well, <laughs> <laughs> all right. 
keep okay. going, keep going, champ. Oh, <laughs> Ryan's so sassy today. <laughs> <You're right. laughs> you got two I'm, sick I'm just guys. Gonna, I'm gonna give it to. I'm just gonna give it to you. <laughs> no, I'm, no, I'm not I, I, I want to hear what you were gonna say, champ. <laughs> I do too. I do too. Uh, I was just thinking about it, like uh, you know, if 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 because like this is kind of like the same thing that we went through with with the baby metal, uh, the Metal Kingdom song, right? And we were like, it's not metal. Because it said like Metal Kingdom, you know, yeah. <laughs> and it's like, is the name throwing us off a little bit? Because in reality, you could just kind of view it as like, oh, here's a new recorded version of this song, a version that you've never heard before, and that's cool on its own. But because you have expectations that are something a little bit different, yeah. like, like when I turn oh, on Top yeah. Gear and it's a cooking show, I'm like, ah, eh, I'll watch yeah. it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> hey, exactly. um, CK Meister brought up, uh, he said, I can't wait to hear Passcode on the first take, but that just raised a question for me. What band are you guys excited to possibly go on first take? Is Passcode really going on first take? Is that no, like he's a saying, thing, or is he's he just saying, saying that? I can't wait for it. I don't know if that's going to happen, but... Yeah. Is that a schedule? If, that, if they're not scheduled, I don't believe it's ever going to... Like, they, they freaking... Yeah. They they have auto tune on literally everything that they do. I, I just... <laughs> I know. that I just brought it up because that was a good question, to, like... They, like, like what, that would have to be part of it. Yeah. Yeah, they'd have to, right? Yeah, like, because be if they want to sound like, but I wouldn't want it to be, you know? I've always kind of wanted to hear what their vocals sound like without auto tune and, and stuff like that. I think they'll sound good. I think Passcode will sound good. Because like, <laughs> it'll probably sound better, like, without the auto tune and everything. Guys, on there. let's start our own first take channel and <clears throat> allow absolutely no post processing besides, yeah. like, compressor and EQ. Here are the shitty versions of every song you've ever heard. I'm, I'm on the first take, and I went to their description. It says, a microphone in a white studio and one rule. You've got one take. Perform anything you like. Show us everything you've got for that one moment. The first. Is take. there an asterisk? No. But there's... <laughs> no. Technically, they're right. They, I you mean, post-production has nothing to do with it. You know? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> but anyways my point was i like that comment about passcode i was wondering what do you who do you guys want to hear on the first take like out of the japanese fans mm. are you asking us yeah oh <laughs> gotcha spin oh, my, oh that's a good one that would be insane the, there are three voices oh my gosh yeah i would like to hear yeah. uh bandmade 100 <clears> percent. <throat> anything with spooky oh, oh <laughs> that's a good easy. one that's Dolls a good one. Box. Yeah. yeah. Dolls box. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, there we go. There we go. What about you, champ? What about all you, champ? All those things. You just mentioned all the good ones. I mean, I want to hear I want to hear an Emma Fiola, you know? Like, yeah. Uh, I would Ooh. love to hear Emma. Mayo on there. That would be really interesting. Yeah. I would like to see, like, um, live, like, on that, that kind of setting. Like, if she would shift, because she's super raspy in a lot of their songs, right? I'd like to hear her do one of the raspy songs to see if she retains it or if she tries to go like a little cleaner with it, you know, because of the mm. setting. Yeah. Uh, this is <laughs> uh, Mickey says, we hear band made first take all the time. I know, but it's a different setting. They normally change up the song. That's, I mean, but yeah, you're not wrong. Yeah, dude, that Tokyo yeah. Garden live stream was like so authentic. <clears throat> it was awesome. All right. Well, we have a lot of oh, other. Real Go ahead. Uh, one anyway. thing, real quick. Simno has a link that's related to this. You can you you want to play it real quick? Just okay. So it's right. related to the baby metal on the first take. <laughs> all right. So we have a link for baby metal on the first take. Uh, I'll describe it to everyone that's listening. Um, let me pull this up. Why is she tiny? <laughs> what is happening? Shh. I don't know. <laughs> Blue balls. <laughs> I guess I, I didn't know when I put this in my baby male reaction, but I guess Moa gets mad when people call her small. <laughs> So oh, someone okay. memed this. <laughs> for those That's who funny, are honestly. listening so a small mo walking up and it's a joke about that right and then... <clears throat> okay All giant right. microphone <laughs> so we had some other new songs that came out we had bright ear that came out with eyes of doubt which i thought was an interesting song i did listen to it kind of roughly the vocals kind of remind me of lonesome blue a little bit i don't know why but I know, um, Wave, you reacted to the song. Uh, what did you think overall? 
Oh, are you talking to me? I'm sorry. I was reading yes, the chat. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're right, Adam. I didn't get it either. Okay. Can you repeat the question? I'm sorry. <laughs> Wait. Um, right here. What'd you think about it? Yeah, right here. What do you oh, think about it? Dude, I love their new drummer. Well, I guess she's been there since 2019. But the drum patterns throughout that song, like, just made the song such a fun adventure. They are constantly changing up. She had, like, some jazzy styles in there, some really cool syncopation, and some crazy double kick. So it was, like, this wild combination of stuff. Um, the singer has a really unique voice I really like. Had a fun, catchy chorus. And some guitar harmony between two lead guitarists. So I thought it was pretty fun. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah, it, it was a pretty good song. I, like I said, it reminds me of Lonesome Blue. It wasn't my favorite, but I, I don't know. It, it's hard for me to get in the bright ear for some reason. Did was, you guys it check very, it out? was it very poppy sounding? Uh, no, it, it had a, it starts off with a metal riff in the beginning. And then um, kind of, uh, I can't even remember. And then what does it go to after that wave? It was like, starts off kind of metal. Yeah, like the <clears throat> pre-chorus is kind of like, I'm trying to remember the structure, but she goes into this like jazzy beat where she's dropping snares and like, mm -hmm. you know, just really cool syncopation. And like by the end of the song, the chorus was stuck in my head. I wouldn't say poppy so much as just really earwormy and catchy. Yeah. Cool. I'll definitely make sure next time I listen to these songs <laughs> before <laughs> head time. It's a rough week. But um, I uh, did get some news from uh, Sims. First album in three years begins a full-scale overseas operation. So Sim releases its sixth album this summer and uh, signs contracts with overseas management and agency in conjunction. The band will put a large focus on its overseas activities this year, including touring outside of Japan. Reggae punk band Sim has impressed fans with lots of new activities lately, including a music label switch to Pony Canyon. And the oh. switch led them to not only create the impressive opening theme song to the rumbling for Attack on Titan, but also once again this year for Attack on Titan, the final season part three, which is called Under the Tree. Have you guys checked out that song yet? No. Okay. Is it out? Um, yeah, it's been out for a little bit. And... Um, so they're saying, um, with all the momentum build up, uh, we're now seeing a planned six album that will be released this summer. This will be Sims' first album in about three years since the previous album. Thank God, there are hundreds of ways to kill enemies. <laughs> what an awesome <laughs> fucking album name. Uh, details are currently scarce, although in its announcement, the band outlined a list of genres in the album description: reggae, ska, punk, rock, and metal. Uh, which I always hear in like all their songs. I love how they constantly hit up on all those genres in every single song yeah. they put out. Uh, we also see an indication that digital download and physical copies of the album will be sold. And I can't wait to check it out, actually. Like, Sim has, like, kind of been growing on me overall. I never hate the songs that I hear, you know? Like, I enjoy them quite a bit. But it looks like um, they're planning and us is at Cantel. I guess these are the countries that they're going to book for that are guaranteed so far. I guess others are to come. So, yeah. So if you guys are Sim fans, this should be coming around soon. Nice. Mm. I, I did listen to the new song. Did anybody hear the new song? I haven't yet. I haven't yet. What do you think? Overall? It was cool. It was cool. It was cool like like the rumbling was. You know, like it had that really big epic sound to it. A couple cool guitar licks in there. Um, I don't remember if I could if I found any ska in it this time, like there was in the rumbling, but um, it was another, like, you know, felt appropriate for what the show is, especially too for, for attack on Titan, where it just felt like big and uh, grand, you know, which just got that big kind of synth sound that's filling up the whole room. It was a cool song. Hell yeah. So Sweet. it says here too later in the article, Sim is planning to not only tour Japan, but confirms the UK and the US. Other countries outside these regions are currently being booked. Sim's UK appearances in June are going to be at Download Festival 2023, and they're going to headline the show at O2 Academy in Slington. Uh, were announced late last year. However, the uh, revelation of a US tour is sparking new information. So Sweet. cool. Hell yeah. 
I wasn't even showing the article in there. Um, was somebody about to say something? Ryan? Was uh, you? I was trying to find the band. There's, who's the band that their singer just quit on? Uh, oh. I mean, pretty decent sized band we've covered on here. In the We're not talking about Hagana, Hagana, are we? No, no, no. No, no. the I, this singer stayed, didn't she? She's like the only one that stayed. Her, her and the uh, guitarist, right? <laughs> okay. Why I can't do Crystal that. Lake? Crystal Lake, Crystal yeah, Lake. lost her singer. Yeah, they got a new singer, I think. That's Cookie Monster. That? Oh, that's awesome. No, I didn't see that. Yeah, I was trying to somebody sent it to me. I'm trying to figure out where it was. And, Sweet. So I guess that door's closed now. Um, is <laughs> it a singer, singer from another is it a singer from another <laughs> band or were they in another bigger uh, project? Uh, I look up something before I mention it. Also, I ran, while Ryan's looking that up, Unlucky Morpheus dropped another new music video. Which is really cool that dropped three days ago um and this is off of their last uh ep or album so mm -hmm. that's that's cool that they're i don't wonder if they're gonna put out a video for almost every song seems like it <clears throat> Ooh, maybe not though fun. i hope so their videos are so freaking cool bro yeah they have like a formula down for this except for the last time right where it was like uh, in, in a studio setting and everybody was like calm and relaxed and wearing hoodies and stuff that was which video to... are you talking about <laughs> their uh last their last track that they dropped no welcome to valhalla they it was all it was all crazy the music video was all crazy looking did i miss no, a video the, didn't we watch am i am i getting confused here I thought um, they came out with one where there was like, yeah, oh, I'm, think, I'm thinking, of, I'm thinking of Love Bites. That's that's yeah, yeah, that's <laughs> yeah. That's Love Bites. Bites did that recently. <laughs> How do you get those two? <laughs> yeah, my bad. I was just like, I was thinking about what band, <laughs> what band did we see in a in a studio setting? That's awesome that we never yes. see in a studio setting. Oh, obviously, I'm lucky. No, it was Love Bites. That was that was cool, and then it set me up because last week I watched the TV, the they were on the tv show after the stream and just like seeing asami back in her normal attire i was like dang yeah. like she was made to be a front woman you know mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> anyway sorry for that also otto's dropped another song already hit 2.2 million views in two days you know Good. Just what? Freshen it. Dang. <laughs> uh, did, did you find out any more info, Ryan? No, I put it was, it was a thing on Reddit and there's a link to a YouTube video. And it looks like, did they have a TV series where they're holding auditions for the band? They're like trying to find a singer through a TV series? I think so. They had something oh, okay. going on. Crystal Lake? Yeah. The light vocal audition season two. And the, yep. this was in the. The article said they found a new vocalist, so I don't know if it's if it's in there. I have to watch it and find out. So, hell yeah, yeah. I think I remember us talking about it. We had a older yeah. article that we were saying they were gonna put out a series looking for them or something like that. But very cool. Um, so that new oh, I'm gonna mess up the name of this band. I still haven't got it down. But the with Lisa X, they have reflections Koyai? on India tour. What is it called? Koyai. Koyai. Uh, it's with English subtitles for the entire thing. So they're talking about the tour and everything. It's that's up really, on Lisa X's channel, which is that's really awesome. cool. It's like an hour and a half. Yeah, yeah, oh, an it's hour a and a half. Podcast. Uh, lots of uh, lots of reading going on there. Have you guys watched uh, much Koyai? I like, haven't. There's not really much out there, is there? Yeah, a few of their live stuff they put up, I've checked out. <clears throat> Is it like Pro Shot official live stuff? Uh, no, not what I've seen. Okay, kind of crowd shot stuff. But it was interesting. Somebody asked them uh, about how they got on the tour in India, and Lisa had mentioned. Lisa X had mentioned that through other um, clinics and stuff. She, I think, she had met Guth Guthrie Govan. Oh, they became friends, and when he he saw an article about. Lisa X band breaking up, he contacted her and was like, So hey, I, I saw I hear that you guys are breaking up. What's going on? And she told him, Well, I'm working with you know, with Katono and, and his Hazuki and uh they're gonna work on new material. And he said, Well, uh there's a a tour in India that's looking for different music. I'll I'll talk to him, see what I can do. So what? they pretty much got on that tour because of Guthrie Govan. 
Are you yeah, serious? Friendship with her, so that's pretty cool, man. I think they played three. Was it three shows over there? Yeah, live. So they talk a lot about yeah. about the experience of getting over there and getting through customs and and just um, oh, what was it? They they missed one flight. It was it was delayed two hours and say so they were going to be late for the show. And then they're like, no, we'll we'll move you around so you play later. So they got there and expected there to be somebody playing first, and then they were going to go on. They're like, no, you're going to be up first. And Lisa's like, well, I was the only one that had my clothes from the truck in the venue. So they all went on. They like grabbed something out of her out of her wardrobe and like wore her clothes on stage. Wow. Like, like we had like five minutes and then they had to get on stage. That's oh crazy. God. So yeah, it was pretty, pretty intense for him. But I do remember us hearing this song right here. So the take it or leave it short version. Yeah. So yeah. and the then it looks like they played a cover. They played their cover of um of Polyphia, which is cool. Here, I'm gonna play a short little clip of it real quick. Sounds pretty damn good. <laughs> yeah. Look, I watched some of this this week, and one thing that really stood out to me was Hazuki really doesn't do much lead stuff in this band. It's like no, she's, she's the really, rhythm guitarist. Yeah, she's and, really supporting her. Yeah, like I have so much respect for Hazuki, who I mean, she's a, a bit older than Lisa X, right? Um, yeah. Just spending that much time in a band where she's not really a feature, she's supporting a younger artist and having the humility to do that when we know she can freaking shred. You know, yeah, this is yeah. really cool of her really to cool. do that. And also, I had no idea about the Guthrie Govan thing. Yeah, that, that's kind of neat. neat that means I'm that. only one person away from Lisa X, too, because I shook Guthrie Govan's yeah. hand, and I felt <laughs> I felt like I was going to break it, because, like, he has really <laughs> loose not hands. He's a very delicate uh, guy. Yeah, but, like, I saw him with the Aristocrats a few years ago. and I'm, yeah. oh I'm my sorry, gosh. who is this? Who are we yeah, talking about? insane. Guthrie Govan, one of his bands is the Aristocrats with Marco Miniman and Brian Beller. And it's just Never. an insane, like, prog rock jazz band. You don't know who Guthrie Govan is? I don't. Alan? Oh, I don't. my God. You're going to I don't mind think... freaking blown. Do you know Chance? Yeah. Just watch anything by him. He, he's a fucking freak. <laughs> he's a virtuoso <laughs> guitarist. Like, he can like, literally play anything. He's one oh, of the okay. few people I saw, and I was just like, I didn't know you could do that. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's how I was with Marco Miniman. Like, so those two together, he's my all time favorite drummer. Those two together is just like a dream team, you know? Yeah, then um, I'm with you, Nick. The name sounded familiar, but I wasn't sure. I was like, yeah, I'll definitely check it out, though. So cool. I want to make sure I got this right. I'm pretty sure. So Love Bites put up a post. Did they do? They did a two night tour, uh, like live show thing. Is this recent? What? I just saw. Oh, Love I just Bites. Saw, yeah, Love yeah, Bites. They, they just played some shows. Nice. Okay, that's what I just wanted like to make sure. This past week. Yeah, this past week, right? Yeah, they put up a they put up a post about it. Look at that! All those people there, pretty awesome. So okay. they said, "Thank you for staying with us. Thank you for believing in us. We are Love Bites, and we play heavy metal." So see you again on the road. So I guess they're planning on some possible touring, huh? I love how yeah. direct that was. We are love bites and we play heavy metal. Yeah, you fucking do. Damn That's right. That's all they need to say. Is that a dog? Is she holding a dog? In that photo? Oh my gosh, yeah. Look, yeah, look how cute Does they are. Her to just have a dog sitting next to her on the drum kit. <laughs> uh, yeah. Um, that reminds me, Japan, I think they just uh, released those laws where you can't cheer at concerts. Because, like, they, I think Love Bites announced right before they went on this tour that people could cheer again oh. at the shows oh, and it's clap a, and stuff. So it's That's not right. a dog, it's a stuffed yeah. seal. Yeah, it looks really real. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it <does. laughs> it's like tiny on my screen. I can't. It looks like a chihuahua <laughs> with no ears. It does. <laughs> Uh, they're so freaking cute for being as heavy as they are. Man. Yeah, it's funny, man, because they're brutal. <laughs> yeah, they start yeah, some of those songs like Jesus. Is this like another <laughs> option of kawaii metal? 
It's it's just <laughs> Kawhi only in looks alone. Everything yeah. else about them is just badassery. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Cool. All right. Well, I'm going to pass it over to Ryan for bandmade news stuff. I know they sent out an email or something just recently. Ooh, all bandmade fans are just getting poorer. That's all that's happening. They have merch, a merch drop for the tour, <laughs> and true. they have one shirt for each member. So there's there's freaking five shirts that everybody's going to buy. <laughs> some, there's another uh, Kagami shirt. I don't think that was on the last tour. Um, you know, towels and stuff. Ryan? Yeah, five. What? Bandmate is one of the few bands I'll forgive for all the merch drops because they actually match it with tons of music. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm, I'm just stating facts. I'm not It's just that we all want to get all their stuff and we're running out of money. <laughs> my, wife, yeah. my wife's like, oh, it's like, oh, Bandmate just dropped new merch. She's like, oh, great. I'm like, well, I just dropped like $300 on shirts. She's like, Jesus Christ, that's all your clothes. This is all Bandmate clothes. I'm like, yeah, it's more of a collection now than a wardrobe. I just can't, I can't even wear them all. <laughs> So, you know, they're, they're, they're freaking smart, man. Yeah. They, they know where their bread is butter. Yeah. <laughs> where their bread because is Because if you butter. buy one shirt for one member, you're like, oh, no, I feel bad. I didn't buy one of the other ones. So you end up buying them all. Yeah. And Scott, I now have 24 shirts. Yeah. They're oh, all man. different. They're, they're different colors, too. So, like, if you're trying to, like, you know, do some matching, some color coordination, yeah, you got to get them all. Man. They got to start selling pants, too. So I can have, like, a. Konami shirt and Misa <laughs> pants. <laughs> <laughs> mm. we have the and yeah, nobody wears nobody nobody wears pants. Nobody makes pants, do they? <laughs> it's like <laughs> like I've never seen somebody Maximum walking around hormone. with somebody's face on their pants before. <laughs> Maximum hormone makes uh, shorts, not pants. I guess you, you go no, they my do store pants. And get some some yoga pants with my mirror image logo on there, buddy. <laughs> right on the ass. <laughs> I'm gonna wear Ryan mere pants. I think your face is gonna be right up. Go, go look it up, folks. How many bands have pants merch? That's that's a good point. I know Maximum the Hormone does, but that's all I can think of. It's a give, and Ryan Mir. Oh my gosh. And Ryan Mir. And I, the, uh... To give your head a face. <laughs> Hey, we could put um, Wave's face on one of the pants logos for uh, Gage and Guys merch. Oh. <laughs> oh. Uh, yes. No, what? <laughs> <laughs> We're going to put your face on some pants. <laughs> Just for you. W w <laughs> uh, on, like, the sides? No, on the ass. <laughs> <laughs> on the head. One on each cheek. <laughs> one on each cheek. There we go. <laughs> Oh man. Okay. So so they still haven't announced anything about the August dates yet. There was something there where uh, they added another show, I thought. Oh really? No. Could be wrong. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's but what anyways. I'm waiting for. Like it's stressing me out because I don't want to miss them. Yeah. But I still haven't gotten a ticket yet. But all right, well, top 10. We got some changes in top 10 today. Um, passcode, uh, what Clouds Across the Moon did drop a spot. Um, number nine, we got 1OK Rock finally getting down there to the bottom. They've been slowly creeping down lower and lower for the uh, Sonic <laughs> Frontier. Um, really holding on. Number eight, Bandmate. Ooh. Memorable. They came up 10 spots? 10 All spots right. that came up. So they're right up in number eight. That's awesome. Uh, I don't think the okay other rock. the bat the other um, bandmate songs didn't make it, did it? Or maybe just for a second. So that's really cool to see. Oh, um, she had, yeah, she had to like fight man eating ants when she was out there walking around shooting that video. Man what? eating ants. <laughs> <laughs> the, there's an interview from uh, on Barks. I guess this is bandmate news. Sorry, but uh, there's an interview they had. A pretty good interview, and uh, she's talking about that shoot, and she says she's the only one out there is from the band. And when the far away shot, she's out there walking alone on the road, and there's just a drone op overhead. And there's, she's like, I didn't really know how far to walk. <laughs> like, oh, what okay. to do? <laughs> like, I see the occasional gecko, and then I found out later there was tarantulas and like man eating ants. She's like, wait, ants don't eat people. <laughs> Can I make <laughs> oh, they have to be two meters long if they're man eating ants? <laughs> they brain eating ants. <laughs> but yeah, so it was just a little, just kind of interesting about that shoot. And the, the truck that drove by was just a random 
truck that happened to drive by because none of the band members were there they didn't know about the truck or heard you know like the experience shooting it wow um, she was asked about if there's any meaning behind it and she's like not really it was just I was the only one that went it was a <laughs> bark now, now, interview now that now that i look at it it's kind of like her the old video where she was running by herself through the town which i can't remember the name now somebody will in chat i'm sure she's just <clears> like it reminds me of that like our you know first video where it's her running by herself and i was kind of coming full circle where she's out there by herself so yeah was, uh, <laughs> damn that truck's gonna want royalties man sure. <laughs> so number seven we got Don't let me down koshi naba i Never heard of this artist, so this is a new entry. Um, it's Japanese vocalist, multi instrumentalist, and songwriter. He's best known as the singer and lyricist of the rock duo Beezies. I have heard them. Uh, oh, the, okay. Been nice. around forever. The best selling music act in their native in their native Japan. He has wow. also had a successful solo career with five studio albums and five singles topping the Japanese music charts. Have you guys heard the Beezies before? Bees? Uh, I think I heard one song. They they've been around for a really long time, right? Like for like yeah. thirty or forty years. Yeah, for yeah. a very long time. Very cool stuff. Um, and then we got Bish uh, with "Bye Bye Show," the latest um song from them uh, reaches the top ten after only two weeks in the charts. And will this be the last release from the alternate idol punk band with? out instruments in their current incarnation i, I think so <laughs> i think so uh, number five we got baby metal light and darkness staying flat there uh number four we got hanabie also up there that's just wild seeing hanabie beating nice. baby metal on the charts i'm, I'm quite shocked what's the title <clears throat> huh what's the title of the song pardon me i have to go Oh, dang it. I wanted you to do the Japanese one. <laughs> <laughs> okay, never mind. <laughs> this song was breakout for them, man. Like, I yeah, see people man, doing, like, people that have never heard Japanese uh, uh, rock before doing them first. Really? That's on cool, YouTube. man. It's good for mm. everybody. Really? But, yeah, it was great to see it kind of take off like that. It's such a cool video. Yeah. Cool song. And then number three, we got First Death, TK. Uh, staying even right there. Number two, we got Bay Metal again with Metal Kingdom. So they have two songs on the chart. So they're, they're killing it, man. Um, I wonder if it'll hit number one. But I don't know. With the new auto song, I don't know if it counted as rock or metal, the new auto song. Have you guys heard the new auto one yet? No. No? No. Number one, we have 10 Feet, Dizero Khan, and Staying Steady at number one. This song I still have not heard yet. I gotta go check it out. I'm I have a whole list of songs to check out with the band tonight. I gotta check out, <laughs> that we're gonna check out and get all caught up. Um, yeah, I just want to say ahead of time, apologize about not listening to so many songs ahead of time. I normally do. Uh, just a rough week. Definitely, we'll change that around next week. Yeah, um, I think we'll have a lot more to say about a lot of these songs next week. Yeah, because a lot we haven't gotten to all of them yet, but I have a feeling we'll get to all of them this week. Yeah, we half of us been sick and. Also had the yeah. lot of stuff's coming up. Uh, Mechanic Cat, thank you so much for the super thank chat. Um, I got a tip from a guy from Tokyo. If you go to Tokyo during Golden Week, there's lots of concerts. When's Golden oh. Week? Yeah, when's yes. Golden Week? Yes, we need to know Golden Week. What is Golden Week? When is Golden Week? Is this like Shark Week? Well, Cookie yeah. Monster Mission. <laughs> Hanabi is doing a two-man show with Nima Fila. I wish I could see that. That would be Where? an insane freaking show in, in uh, Japan. I was actually going to bring up Nemophila right Before now because oh yeah, I kind of skipped over the fact that they just released a new song. Also, Nemophila Rise, official music video, just nice. dropped, dropped you guys uh, heard this? two days ago. Oh and um, oh. so lyrics by Mayu, music, uh, lyrics by Mayu and Saki, music by Mayu. And is this their producer, this um, Kensuke? Yeah. Oh, yeah. So cool. that's badass. So they're already working on a new album, which I'm really excited to see. I have either wait. of you guys heard that song yet? I haven't. I've not heard it. Yeah. I heard Wave it. Wave has. Yeah. What do you think? Speak. Wave? Speak on Speak. it. Um, man, it was just another name of feel a banger. It's very much like 
their signature style, but it was a cool music video. There was, I don't want to spoil it too much, but no, there were some it. cool surprises in there. Mm. Uh, I guess it's in our thumbnail. Um, Mereta Tam, Tamu cut her hair. I always say that wrong, but has a nice fresh haircut. I don't think I've seen it before. Like, I like it. And then uh, I guess that's not really about the song, is it? <laughs> <laughs> we want to know all this good stuff, bro. Most impressed by the hair. <laughs> I sold. love a good hair story. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> the guitar solos were insane. Like, Saki's guitar solo was just, like, really on point. So, um, like, was there uh did she do mostly clean vocals or mostly screaming in this one? Both. There was a lot of layered, like, um... I was actually curious how she's going to do it live because there's a lot of layered screams that overlap with the clean vocals. But, yeah. I'm trying to remember because I listened to it earlier in the week and then, like, I did a live stream Friday which, like, overwhelms my entire brain. You know? (laughs) I'm about to say, Wave, how did you stay on top of it so much this week? Great job, man. (laughs) Thank you. I don't know. I don't know. Um, like, I took my last two live streams before this week and did all the clips for them. Yeah. And I think I scheduled 26 videos out over the next couple of weeks. Mm. And it was way too much. Um, but I also, like, I'm kind of taking a break on my films channel where I do the more heavily edited videos for now. Yeah. I'm just trying to keep up with, I, I want to post all the live stream clips. Mm. and also focus on patreon requests and that's kind of my only focus besides gaijin guys clips for the channel so yeah i'm just not not trying not to spread myself too thin anymore yeah i was i was torn i like i checked out the brideer video but i was like should i just wait to do do the reaction or not but but yeah, yeah. It feels weird <laughs> not it being was on fun it. like oh you know what did it is <laughs> i got twitter and I actually s- subscribe to all of the bands I like mm-hmm. and turn on notifications. And so I yeah. actually knew when stuff came out <laughs> so I could yeah. stay on top of the new music. Yeah. So that was nice. Well, I there's can... your answer. So if we want to stay on top of it, be on Twitter every day. I was yeah. aware of everything happened. I just didn't have time to freaking sit down yeah. and do yeah. it. I, was fighting I, I knew these things came out also, but uh, I just I didn't have a voice until about yesterday. So yeah, uh, I, I that's fought, why. But I fought the internet company all week. <laughs> yeah, so. yeah, you guys all have very good excuses. <laughs> um, <laughs> but uh, I'm trying to keep my eyes open. Like, <laughs> yeah. So if you guys have uh, you know you've already watched your reactions last week, uh, you, you got a whole other week of new reactions coming up. Yeah extend the uh love for don't worry songs. guys we'll be better on top of it next week just just rough fast week all right top 10 covers let's do this we have wave manners wow. in english Damn. coming in at 10 with nam <clears throat> by the way we did an interview with her you guys should check it out it was really cool that was really oh, cool. oh yeah. yeah number n- number nine Hey, we dropped the spot the rumbling by sim cover with uh ray from one eye close um nice you you were on this right wave yeah with wave yeah <laughs> with, i think i wave. did drums on it <laughs> yeah, yeah you did drums um number eight we have asterism with demon slayer is this uh this has been on here before right i gotta hear yeah. this i'm is, really this, curious is this the same song that lisa does yes oh yeah yes oh it is isn't it yeah i gotta hear this song i'm really curious to see it, what they did with it um, That's right. Yeah. We talked about that last week, and it was like, oh, I d- had no idea they did that. And then number seven, Dicotic Monochrome. Um, Monochrome. Ooh. Where uh, Wave played bass on this one, right? You played bass on this one. Yeah, yeah. I I actually used this to show Rosie what the original Monochrome sounds like before we watched the first take version. <laughs> yeah. And like, I mean, when that first take version starts, it's unrecognizable. You have no idea what's happening. Mm. <laughs> I can't wait to hear that, man. Um, by the way, Golden Week. I don't. Did we mention what it is? It's it's May May third to May fifth in Japan. Oh, okay. So oh. it's it's actually not a whole week. It's only three days. Okay. Wow. Mm. Number five, we have uh, Sokuninaru, uh, 
and number six, Sokin Naro. Number four, Sokin Naro. <laughs> <laughs> number three, Otto. Uh, of course. <laughs> and then number two, we have Asterism. Nothing's changed here. And then uh, my Chan. So we have a lot of the same stuff for the covers. Well, awesome. Dude, nice to see Asterism so high on the list. Yeah. Like beating out Addo. It's pretty sweet. Yeah, they've been on there for, for a good minute. <clears throat> Thank Anyways. you, Simno. All right. Well, that is that is it for today, guys. Um, cool. If you want to sign us off, champ. Mm. Sure. Um, go to Patreon. <laughs> Patreon.com <laughs> slash guys and guys. If you want more That's guys and guys dies. content. Today oh, yeah. we checked out uh, Gatrick Spins, Redline, together. Um, and uh, personally, I, I very much enjoyed it. Uh, but if you go over there, you can hear the other three guys also talk yeah. about how like they felt it? about it. Do Did we they like, like it? it? You have to go find yeah. out. Don't you won't know. know until you sign up. Um, and then also we have channel memberships. If you don't like Patreon, you can always get channel memberships where we post other stuff on there, too. Yeah. Cool. And I just want to say one last time. Thank you guys for being so patient about the internet BS. Um, I'm so happy it finally works now. So appreciate everyone's patience yes. on that. Um, mm -hmm. but fucking, that was really blew out my steam last week. That's why I didn't want to do anything. So <laughs> like, it's just really demotivating. But it's working now. So four streams in a row, flawless. So ah, uh, it's good, good stuff. But anyways, except last week. Oh my god. What? Sorry about last week, everyone. Oh yeah. But thank Wave, you for Wave being here running. today. <laughs> after <laughs> that disaster, Wave was running it last week. Okay, no, I'm <laughs> barely. And then, like, Champ just randomly cuts out of, out of nowhere after you randomly cut out out of nowhere, and then yeah. Ryan's internet isn't working. So I'm like, you're by yourself. I'm not the one who talks. I talk like five percent of the time. So I'm like, I don't. You guys drive the stream for us. <laughs> yeah, I think you did good in a pinch, bud. Oh, you know, one last thing to mention before we sign off. Uh, we're going to see Nemophila this weekend, Ryan and I. Oh, yeah, we are, aren't we? And yeah. Champ. And Champ. You're coming with us to Dallas? Get away from you guys for a no, weekend. I'm going the next day, remember? No, you need to go New to York. Dallas and then go with them yeah. to New York. I'm going to fly to Dallas and then back to New York. To yes. <laughs> Just hitch a it. ride on their plane. Do it. Yeah, that's, that's the only that's way I would be, go. That's gonna be yeah. awesome, man. Looking forward to that. Mm -hmm. So yeah, same dude. Same. I'm, well, I'm tomorrow we're driving. There. Oh, sorry. What was that? We're we're going down and we're staying. We're not leaving until Wednesday, so we get to have some time off work. Yeah, in Texas. Maybe see some family. Good so, for you, man. It should be fun. I can't wait mm -hmm. to hear you guys talk about it. Um, tomorrow we're leaving early in the morning to drive to Chicago. To see Rosie's favorite singer, Paolo Nutini. So that's why I'm not going to Nemophila, but priorities. Hopefully they'll come closer to me someday. <laughs> mm. You haven't seen Nemophila live yet, right? No. E that's good. <laughs> but they only came to like the West Coast and now like South and East Coast. And those are all like far away from me. Yeah. Like 2,000 miles away. So. I love um, that is quite far. I love cynical. <laughs> I love cynical's comment. Traveling to New York is like traveling to Dallas for champ. Uh, <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> well, <true>. <laughs> um. <laughs> all right, guys. Have a good one. See you. We'll be much more prepared next week, guys. <laughs> See you guys later. Thank you. Adios, guys. Thanks, everybody. <laughs>